Right, afternoon guys. I'm uh, out after the geese this afternoon. It's um, now 20 to 4. I've just got set up. And yeah, I'm on some beet tops where the uh, the geese have been coming onto. They've also been on the, uh, the barley field next to it. So uh, I've just got my decoy set up out on the uh, out on what was sugar beet and uh, yeah gonna see if we can't get the geese to come in they've been a real problem in the area just lately really making a mess grazing off the uh, the barley fields next to this sugar beet but um, yeah as usual they're just not uh, decoying they're only traveling a few hundred yards again it's the same uh, few thousand that we have on the lakes just over our boundary and um, yeah, so we're going to uh, give it a go. I'll just show you the decoys. There you are, there's my decoys out there. 30 Enforcer windsocks. And we have got a nice bit of uh, breeze today. Uh, it's um, coming from the west, so hopefully anything coming in will be coming from my right in and into the decoys here and I'll just show you this pigeons coming into my um, goose decoys and uh, some more maybe I'll just try these goose decoys uh, when I'm out on the pigeons.
guys, that's it. All packed up. Ended up with 14 grey lags, two Canada geese and two Egyptian geese. So yeah, good evening. Um, hopefully I've got some of the footage for you. And uh, yeah, this would have been my uh, probably my last time out on the geese. So uh, yeah, I'll um, see you all next season when it comes to the geese. Time to uh, concentrate on the pigeons now. So uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.